Hey, it's your boy. Um, <laughs> so I've been playing near Replicant for the past like three days. I'm not done with it yet, but I honestly didn't have much to talk about today. So thank God that this happened. Um, uh, <laughs> the fucking aliens. There's some. I'm not gonna talk about real world shit very often. But I love the idea that there's just aliens hanging around. We, f we somehow have some bodies somewhere. So if you're confused on what I'm talking about, some uh, somewhere today, I don't know where, <laughs> like, I don't know the context or anything. I just know that I saw on Twitter that aliens have been, like, confirmed, and I thought that was the funniest sentence of all time. And I was like, okay, so someone's doing some goofy shit again. But no, apparently... There's actually, there's this guy, a former U.S. intelligence officer, David Gruch, uh, which claims under oath the aliens exist and U.F. government is in possession of UFOs and non-human bodies, which, that is the fucking coolest shit ever. I don't know, it's probably, I don't think it's real still. Well, I do think there's aliens, I just don't think we have them necessarily. Um... But that is so great. <laughs> I can pray essentially that it is real because I think that's hilarious. Uh, sorry, I look super dark because I'm trying to find the. Uh... Yeah, here it is. I believe we have crashed craft uh, stated earlier. Do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these. Yes, yeah, so I see. Um. I don't know what the, the, these guys are talking about. Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still in the program. See, that's pretty cool, right? Hey, <laughs> you might have aliens. Aliens might be real, maybe. Um, I, I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say I, I don't believe it until there's some evidence that we have, like, evidence that there is extraterrestrial life. But, you know what? Fuck it. That's kind of cool, I guess. I'm down for some aliens to be hanging around. Uh, well, I, they did mention bodies, so they're probably dead, but you know what? That's still pretty cool that there's an alien just kind of some dead, some stuff from not on our planet just hanging around. The thing is, is I'm starting to think that what he's talking about is like some like microscopic organism type thing. And that's kind of lame if that's what he's talking about. Like, I, I, I want, I want to like, I want something bigger than that. I want like, it doesn't have to be crazy big, but something bigger than that. Uh, and like I said, uh, fucking been playing Nier and bro, the world is just so confusing. Nier, <laughs> Nier was already confusing and I, I look at Twitter for the first time in like two days and it's like, we've discovered an alien and it's like, what? <laughs> it's like, what is happening? I'm like, this is not real. And it, I mean, apparently maybe it might be real. I don't really know. I don't, I don't want to say I don't think it's real, but I don't think it's real. <laughs> like I, I just don't see it. I feel like by now somebody would have like leaked it before their death like on their deathbed they're like tell their family they're like hey there's aliens out there by the way and then their family would have leaked it and unless the government's about to silence an entire family which i guess could happen but i don't think that that happened uh i feel like it would have just gone gotten out before this and the fact that he isn't able to show any evidence like i understand like, you don't want to get murdered by the government or whatever, which is, that's fair. But also, I feel like you could show something, right? Like, you could... Or, literally, just, you're already risking it all. I would just throw it all out there. And then if you get killed, you're like, well, there was definitely aliens. And now the world knows, I guess, if you care about it that much. But, um, I don't know. It's just kind of cool. It's a little silly. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't plan on talking about normal, like, real life shit. But you gotta talk about when aliens may or may not be real, because that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully, hopefully one day we'll all be in space or something. That would be pretty fucking awesome. That was what I dreamed of as a kid, so... You can fly around a different planet, that'd be all nice. Um, and that's about it. Oh, actually, wait. Another small thing before I end the video. They showed some- this is completely unrelated, but... I am not a fan. So here's, there's three big companies in gaming that I have like opinions on and it's EA, Blizzard, and um, Riot. So EA is the most mid right now, which is crazy to say that. When I was a kid, I would have said this is the worst company ever, but 
they're just really mid-tier. Sometimes they make bangers, sometimes they make cash grabs. That's just what it is. Blizzard is they make like pretty bad games most of the time. Like I think they've they made like a few good games. Like I think Diablo 4 seems like it was pretty good. And there's been a few other games that they've made that are pretty good. But like half the time their games they make are absolute shit. And they cannot, they are the worst when it comes to updating their games. When they update their games, it just gets worse. And the company is dog shit, so Blizzard's my least favorite out of those. And now Riot, I think is a dog shit company, but they make really good games. And it hurts me to say that because I, like, I hate League. I hate Valorant sometimes, like, but they make such good games. And they're making a fighting game pro called Project L. And it looks so fun. Like, it looks so good. I am praying that that comes out soon. Um... Fighting games fans are eating good, essentially, and they had, they showed it, here, let me see if I can pull up the trailer, actually, since I am actually kind of interested, I feel like I'd like to show this off, um, it's called, yeah, it's just Project L, right, uh, I don't want to watch a Maximilian, here it is, okay, <coughs> here it is, um, hey everyone, it's our favorite time of year. Yeah. We thought we'd check in and let y'all know what's happening with Project L. Oh my God! Leaks, leaks, project, leaks, leaks, so leaks. I'm just kidding. Fighting game. We needed to bring something new to the genre. Agreed. Let's we just keep doing that. Big ideas that we hope will unlock new kinds of fun for fighting game fans. I'm happy to introduce one of those big bets for you today, which some of you have already suspected. The characters for this look really cool. Isn't just a yep. Fight it's game. a two v two, which it's that's fucking. Wait, I just realized this is also confirming to me at least that it looks like we're gonna be able to have multiple uh cross platform. Because that's a PS unless they're using a PC, but still. Fighting. That's con keyboard, that's PS PC mode. Like look at the look at that. She is so bad, bro. And uh this guy's cool too, I guess. And look at that guy, that guy's cool. <laughs> Same match. But like it's just so colorful and popping, which I love. That's one of the things I like about Guilty Gear. You can play with your friends as well as against them. Let me toss it over to Sean to That's pretty fucking cool too, a 2v2. Holy shit, they're using the the joystick shit. That's crazy. Arcade, arcade control. Holy fuck. Yeah, this is going to be so good. If this turns if if this gameplay is good, bro. I'm gonna be on this. I'm gonna be telling my homie, my homie Serial Slayer 519, I'm gonna be on his throat. I'm gonna be like, bro, we gotta play, bro. We gotta play some some Project L. Because this looks fucking cool. I have no idea how long I've been waiting to talk about this. This is Clock, one of our game designers. And I, this was in uh, Mortal Kombat. Well, Mortal Kombat had tag team. And there's a few other games that have been like this. Waits off screen for their teammates yeah, and you tag in and out, which that's pretty fucking cool. In our last update, we showcased some of our tag mechanics, all of which were designed from the ground up to encourage teamwork. Sharing in victories, defeats, performing combos together, or saving your partner in a clutch moment are just some oh, of the that's so fucking cool. the game as a duo. Project L will support 1v1, 2v2, and even 2v1 matchups. What so the fuck? 2v1, huh? As a solo tag team fighter, Control both champs at once. Oh, you control them both. Yeah, that makes sense. God damn, she is bad. Holy shit. Was that Tracer from Overwatch? <laughs> Whatever your setup, our systems are designed to feel fluid and rewarding for players mm -hmm. on stage and off screen. And that starts before you even get into a match. What is, what is, what is it? Before the game starts, God. Just look at though. Like, seriously, the characters, they look so unique. Like, that is... I was looking at it the other day. Uh, the Valorant characters... Are like even though they're in a, such a like similar style all of them look pretty similar they all look so different this type of style though they're gonna make it so good like to customize how their champs play together i'm super excited fuse system. With fuse. Fuse, you can choose between powerful synergies that change up your duo's play style and really allow player expression to shine i want to talk Ex about assist. one fuse called 2x assist how are your part oh okay this allows your team to throw out two assists back to back two assists back so you can like switch out twice and some of them being chargeable there is a lot to discover holy shit for the next match yeah the combos are gonna go fucking crazy in this game i can already tell possibilities here and can't wait to see what you come up with 
Team play is at the heart of Project L's design and the foundation of the game overall. We know it's a difficult design. Oh, he just hit his right? fucking drone. That was kind of cool. Figuring out how to make dual play something truly unique and special for you all to enjoy and master. My my one complaint is I'm not a huge fan of what the backgrounds look like right now, but it's not like a big deal at all. So keep them close. I'm sure that's like super early access. What is it? Thrilled to say that Project L will have a playable demo at Evo. You can come try Man, fuck you! I want to try it. Uh, four champions available. No sign up required. Whether you're attending or not, look out for another update with more reveals soon. Hey, yeah, yeah. The, uh, now that sounds pretty good. Two v two match between four of our devs. I'm not gonna check that out because that'll be too long. But thank you all for watching. It is pretty cool, huh? I'm very excited for this. Honestly, I think this should be really fun. Um, and that's about it now for real. See ya.